Oh my god, time for the vlog. How are we doing today, guys? How is the how is it how that sorry, how is your weekend? Uh I just got done playing some Nazi zombies, so my mouth is not lubricated because I was screaming. Because fucking things were running after me trying to eat my balls. Last night was actually a pretty fucking fun night. I played video games until like fucking 3 a.m. So it was kind of late, but oh, tiddly shit. Anyways, got a butt fucking lot of uh, fletching experience last night. Watched a movie. I've already seen this movie, but I still love watching it. It was the remake of the movie Time Machine. Um, it was, you know, the most recent. Or, the movie Time Machine, where the guy, he loses his, um, um, uh, the love of his life, so he goes back in time, tries to save her, but even if he saves her, she still dies. Like, every single time he saves her, she dies a different way, because she was meant to die. And then he went, like, fucking 60 million years into the future, or 60,000 years into the future. We're not really sure if it's a million or thousands, but it's a lot of years, damn it. And then he sees all these hooba hooba fucking assholes, and, you know, if you guys seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If you guys haven't, I'd recommend it. But, uh, fletching has gone up well over, I think, uh, 600k experience last night. Uh, not to mention, farming is, uh, probably about two, probably, I'd say about two, maybe three days away from being 96, which is fucking awesome. Um... But that's pretty much about it. I uh, did played some more zombies last night, Nazi zombies. Uh, made it to later rounds, you know, even though some of you guys probably don't want to hear that because it's non RuneScape related, you're going to hear it. Because I'm killing fucking zombies, even though they try to rape me in the bum. So yeah, played Nazi zombies probably about 40 minutes last night, and then uh, actually um, needed a few people on Xbox Live. Because nobody was on fucking Call of Duty. So I actually said in the clan chat if there's anybody who has uh, Black Ops and would like to play Zombies. I actually got to play with two of you guys. So it was actually pretty fun. But um, otherwise, another thing somebody asked if, if my Xbox Live uh, friends list is full. Yes, it's full. But if you really want to play with me, then I'll probably end up removing someone and playing with you. It's, it doesn't make any sense for... Xbox Live's friends list to be 100. You know, RuneScape is fucking 200, but Xbox Live is only 100. But then again, when Xbox Live first came out and when I first played it, when I was 14, uh, the friends list was only 25. So you could only add 25 people. That was fucking pretty bad. But otherwise, as for today goes, kind of probably want to do the same thing because I really don't feel like doing fucking anything. I have some taped shows I gotta watch, so... Probably gonna be watching that and doing a lot of fucking fletching. And that's pretty much about it. How many of you guys remember a very, very old video on my main channel? And I'll link it to you. Annotation will be somewhere on the screen. It will be an old ass, it's, it really is an old ass video. It was one of my like first videos ever. It was basically a uh, little combat guide. Well, not even a combat guide, it was just a, something in general. Basically, in the strong in the stronghold security, there's these things called ankus, and they're really good because they give a decent amount of exp. Um, when I used to kill them back in 2008, when I still was training combat, you could make about one mil a day from them if by playing maybe four hours a day. Now, good fucking luck. Okay, uh, you're lucky to maybe make 350k. They would drop, like every other kill, they would drop about 10 bloods, 10 deaths. Sometimes they'd drop uh, 10 noted pure essence. And I mean, they would drop them, you know, pretty frequently. Now, they don't drop that shit as often. But, if you guys watched the video, there was a glitch that uh, Jagex really didn't fix. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's fixed now, but I forgot how long it took them to fix it. Because I remember after I made the video, I went on the forums and I reported it as a uh, bug slash glitch. And there was a thread uh, reporting the same glitch as me six months ago. So, you see what I'm saying? It, it takes them a while. Um, now, supposedly, Ring of Wealth fucked up a lot of shit. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't read about this, but um, a few of my friends have told me because... 
A couple of my friends want to get 96 um, summoning pretty badly because they want to train at Frost Dragons like a motherfucker and make like 3, 4 mil an hour, which right now I'm pretty sure it's about like 3.5 mil an hour with a pack yak. It's fucking insane, I know. Um, even if I were to go there with my War Tortoise and Cannon, I could easily make 2 mil an hour. That's pretty good money. But um, supposedly the charm drop drops at Rock crabs are all, like, fucked up, because people would, you know, rock crabs would be very, like, it was very well for getting charms. You would kill them a whole bunch of times, or ice burst them, barrage, whatever you fucking want to call it, and they would drop a lot of charms. Now, supposedly, a lot of shit is fucked up because of the Ring of Wealth, and supposedly, Jagus is going to fix it this Tuesday. Um, it just, and there, I mean, there's tons and tons of other glitches in this game, there's actually people on YouTube who actually made videos uh, of them doing glitches, but then I think they got banned because a lot of people reported them for, you know, bug abusing, which, in theory, they weren't really bug abusing, they were just showing you the bug and fucking making a video on it, you know, but that's just, you know, Jagex. But a lot of, like, uh, glitches and bugs have happened in the past, and it takes them a while to fucking fix. And it, just like, you know, the Ankus, it took them, like, I don't even know how long it took them to fix it. I actually remade uh, my old video, and some of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to remake any of my guide videos. I might, I may not, not really sure yet. I know a lot of them are outdated, but, um... I may or may not, not really sure, um, but a lot of, like, fucking, like, glitches just take a while to be fixed, Now I'm really not sure why, but it's just, it's, it's kind of like they're on crack in a way, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I joke around all the time about YouTube help form, uh, forms, because you go on the fucking YouTube help forms, and you try to post something, and somebody, and another YouTuber will reply to you. Like, not a YouTube staff, a YouTuber in general. Like, one of you guys will reply to me. And I'm like, okay, that's wonderful. How about you get a fucking staff replying? And this is why I seriously think Google, or rather YouTube, only has like 15 to 20 employees. Which makes me think that sometimes maybe Jagex only has really 10 employees... And the rest, they use fucking animals for beta testing, which is kind of fucking funny if you think about it. But otherwise, guys, that's pretty much it uh, for today. Like I said, just going to be doing fletching and some other shit like that. So, yeah, kind of really glad to be done with uh, dung fung a buck fuck a bug engineering. <laughs> Again, like I said yesterday. But that's pretty much about it. Otherwise, right now, I want to go to my email address, and we have some happy hooba hooba questions from you happy motherfuckers. Ask them at yahoo.com and to me. You hoos. Otherwise, well, RuneScape will cause a glitch so your character can fly, and then I will shoot your ass down. First, hooba hooba question. Hey, Nightmare, what will be your next 99 after dung, d uh, dungeon air, <laughs> or bung fung dungeon fucking nairing? Uh, RS username, real spy 18 Um, like you said... After 100 mil fletching EXP happens, I'm going to fletch my balls off to 125 mil fletching EXP. Then, after that, I'm going to fucking do agility. Then, after agility, I will be getting 150 mil fletching experience. Then, of course, after that, be doing hunter, then 175 mil fletching experience. Hopefully, after hunter, farming is done. Well, probably, most likely, we will be done before agility, or hopefully before agility. And, they, well, actually, maybe not for, uh, probably after 99. It would be cool if I get 99 farming and 99 agility on the same day, kind of like uh, dungeoneering and one, uh, 100 mil. Then, of course, after hunter, probably, um, you know, another 25 mil fletching experience. Then, depending, if I'm already 99 farming, I'll begin to get assist for Herbie. Which will be a long fucking eight months, but damn it, <laughs> it will save me money. That's all that matters. Next question. RS username X, or it's supposed to be X Evil Angel X. Hey, Nightmare RH, I was just wondering if 
you have one of those chaotic uh, shields, and if you do, is it really worth it? No, I do not have a chaotic uh, shield, and it is not worth it. Divines are better than the fucking shields. I would rather spend money on a divine than waste tokens on a shield. Uh, P.S. How come you never made a Bandos or God Wars dungeon video of you killing the gods? I have made Bandos God Wars fucking dungeons videos. It's just probably you haven't taken the time to search for them. So that's pretty much about it. But otherwise, guys, I will see you tomorrow. If you guys got anything for me, you can leave a nasty, dirty little comment. Have a good night, and bye!